another video lecture today we will discuss a problem related with the consistent deformation method so please note down the question here a continuous beam is given with a udl 20 kilo newton per meter and at the mid span or mid point it is a roller support is given and at the both ends it is a hinged support so what is our first aim first aim is to determine the degree of static indeterminacy how can we able to determine the static indeterminacy value in this case there is no horizontal load so that we can neglect that uh, horizontal equilibrium equations and a number of vertical reactions are here here is, there is a one vertical reaction here one vertical and here also one vertical so number of vertical reactions is 3 and the number of equilibrium equations after neglecting the horizontal is 2 ok so 3 minus 2 equals 1 or otherwise we can determine in the both ends this here is the horizontal component and here the horizontal component both are equal so what is the now total number of reactions one two and three three vertical reactions and you can consider this horizontal reaction as a one so total number of reactions is four and number of equilibrium equations is three so finally you get one okay there is only one degree of static indeterminacy for easiness it is easy to remove this center point that is B point that is roll of support so that we will get a simply supported beam with the UDA then our analysis is very easy so our question is right now the question is a simply supported beam with a UDA is given so that we can go for the M by EA diagram ok so if the case if 20 kN per meter is only acting over the beam then what is the M by EA diagram and we know that if a unit is acting over the simply supported beam then the maximum bending moment at the center will be WL square by 8 and by the means of moment area method we can note on that WL square by 8 EA then very easy to find out the deflection at B we have to find out the area over here that is 2 by 3 2 by 3 into B into H that is the area then multiplied by center of gravity so 2 by 3 multiplied by WL square by ATI the half the span is L by 2 then you have to take the center of gravity from the maximum slope that is 5 by 8 multiplied by this half the span so finally you will get the value as 5 by 384 into WL raised to 4 by EI so for a UDL, for a simply supported beam with the UDL, the deflection at the center point will be 5 by 384 multiplied by WL raised to 4 by EA. So you have to either by heart or calculate by yourself. Okay. Then our second case. Second case we are going to determine if a for a simply supported beam, if a point load is acting then what is the deflection is going to happen here also we will determine using the maximum value will be for a simply supported with the beam with the U, point load will be WL raised L by 4 this is the maximum value so in this case the redundant is RB for easiness I am uh, for easiness I am uh, writing this RB in the downward direction ok so that we have write down as half RBL by 4 EI multiplied by half the span or this area half this area of this area then multiplied by the center of gravity distance from the maximum slope that is 2 by 10 into L by 2 so finally you will get RBL Q by 48 EI this is the value you will obtain so after equating these both values equation 1 equals equation 2 you will finally get RB value equals 150 kilo newton very easy if you are using this moment area method and in this case if the load is acting at the center point that is the main main point here you, you have to notice that's why we can easily use this moment area method and after getting this 150 kN you can directly apply here it is acting actually it is we are given this direction in the upward direction for easiness only to it, it is given in this direction since we already determined this a point here 
so actually we apply this rb in this direction okay so you will finally get this positive value only okay and then the total reaction if you substitute ri plus rc equal 20 multiplied by the total span distance minus 150 finally you will get 90 and if you are going to take this sigma ma equal to 0 you will get 45 for ra and rc okay now we will discuss about the how can we draw the SFD and BMD for this continuous beam. So here the results are 45, 150 and 45. So these are the reactions at each point A, B and C respectively. So how to draw how to draw SFD and BMD? First of all we have to calculate which are those shear forces over each point and those many moments over each point. So let us take the section BC. Okay, both the spans are in a similar similar pattern, so we can consider BC and AD. Okay. So if you go and consider, let us take a section at a distance x from this C joint, and if you give the direction Vx and Mx in this direction, Vx upwards and Mx in the clockwise direction. Okay, sign convention we are going to follow. So this Vx and 45 are the upward direction and this 20 kilo Newton per meter is in the downward direction. So we can write down as Vx equals minus 45 plus 20 into x. First of all we will consider the shear force. So we can write down as if x y is going to be 0 then it is written as minus 45. Okay. Then then at some point this Vx or the shear force value is going to be 0. For finding out that if we put the value of Vx equal to 0 then we will find the x value as 2.25. That means from this joint C at 2.25 the shear force value will be 0. Okay. So if you substitute 2.25 the value will get the 0 value. Then at this point, that means 6 meter after from this C point, the after 6 meter the value is going to be 75. All the values are in first value is negative and the, the after 6, 6 meter it is going to be 75 meters the positive value. Then if you are going to consider from this AB part, you can able to consider from this part also. For easiness, we are going to consider from this part. So Vx equals minus 20x plus 45. Here Vx is in the downward direction and this Mx is in the anti-clockwise direction. So Vx equals minus 20x plus 45. So Va value is going to be 45. The V 2.25 meter is going to be 0 and 6 meters is going to be minus 75. The value, the positive and the negative signs is interchange. All the sections. Okay. Then now we will go through the bending moments. So first we will consider BC and after that we will consider AB. Okay. So in this case also, if you are going to consider this in the clockwise direction, let us take a section from this joint C. So Mx is in the clockwise direction and it is 20 kilo Newton per meter is also in the clockwise. So if you are taking a section 20 multiplied by x, then the half distance, that is x by 2, equals 48, 45 by 45 into x, then we will get mx equals 45x minus 10x squared. So if you substitute the value of x equal to 0, that means the moment that joins C equal to 0. Then if you want to know the moment at 2.25 meter, where the value is going to be 0, shear force value is 0, the maximum value we will get here, that is 50.625. Okay. Then coming to 3 meter, just for, just for the sake, we will consider the half the distance, half the span distance. Here total distance is 6 meter. If you are taking 3 meter, the value is going to be 45 kN. Then coming to 6 meter, the moment is going to be, if you substitute the value 6, here also 6, you will finally get minus 90. 
then at some point the value of moment is going to be zero for determining that value if you put the value mx equal to zero finally you will get x equal to 4.5 meter then similarly if you do the calculation for a b part you will get mx value is going to be 45x minus 10x square how we got that here it is an anticlockwise direction that's why it is given minus mx and this also which one 20 is also in the clockwise direction and this is in the clockwise direction so the value finally will get mx equal 45x minus 10x square and if you substitute the value here the x distance is going to be 0 so ma equal to 0 then 2.25 meter is going to be positive value 50 point and 3 meter it is going to be 45 meter and after 6 meter it is minus 90 the same model is repeating here also so next our step is to draw the diagram that is SFD and BMD with these values okay so in the case if you are starting for the starting from the SFD diagram the value length the joint C is minus 45 okay so you have to draw the diagram downwards that is minus 45 then at some point 2.25 meter it is going to be zero the shear force value is going to be zero and at 6 meter it is going to be positive 75 that's why we draw upward direction okay and in the same case here also repeating the value at point a it is going to be positive value so we will draw here positive 45 and after 2.5 minutes it is going to be zero and then again it is going to be negative value that is drawn here 75 meter so very easily you can draw the sfd for this particular question then what about bmd that is bending moment diagram at both ends a and c it is going to be zero and at this point that is 2.25 meters is going to be 50.625 and after 4.5 meter it is going to be the value is going to be zero at both ends and finally at this 6 meter it is going to be 90 meter that is negative value okay so in this case we first consider the determined value uh, after that we consider the reactions RA, RB and RC with that RA, RB and RC we draw the SFD and BMD so I hope the section is very clear with this we will wind up today's section thank you